Lovely. All right. Uh, so while we're working out the technology, I'm just going to get started because the slides just are an enabler to the communication. So what we're going to be talking about for the next 45 minutes or thereabouts is about agile contracts. Now, who here works in finance or procurement? Oh, one person. Oh, that wasn't. I was, was not, not expecting, expecting that. that. Okay. Um, this is going to be a a talk not from a finance perspective, not from a legal perspective. I'm not going to give you boilerplate templates. I'm going to talk about when you're actually building an agile uh, contract, when you're engaging with a new client. How do you uh, work with them to actually build a contract that supports an agile approach? especially when we have a situation where your client or customer may ask for fixed price. So we're going to look at a couple of different topics. Uh, some we're going to look at trust. We're also going to be looking at the different types of fixing that can occur, as well as other types of contracts. So before we really kick off, does anyone have any particular burning issues that they'd like to make sure that I cover? No? All right, well, I'll just talk, and if I'm off topic or you want me to expand on anything, just raise your hand, interrupt, and happy to um, take this conversation where you want to go. Ultimately, you need to get something out of this. Yes? Yep. Absolutely. I will definitely be talking about that, looking at how, how you actually have those fixed price contracts where the scope is not clear. All right. To go by the velocity points, <laughs> is, uh, because you want some quantifying value. Yep, so okay. Let me just make a note of that, velocity. Velocity is an interesting one. And there's some issues, and we'll talk about what the issues with building contracts around velocity are. It can be quite valuable, and it, and it can be a good measure, but only in certain circumstances, and we'll talk about some of that. All right, so to kick off, oh, yep, so, yep. So, schedule, cost, and uh, scope, everything yep. is fixed. But why is that agile? Okay. <laughs> I'll be talking about the different types of fixing, absolutely. All right, so to kick off, for those of you who don't know, my name is Evan Laybourne. Uh, I'm based out of Singapore, and I've been working in a business context with Agile for the last seven or eight years, taking Agile outside of IT and applying it to the wider business community. Right. So let's actually look at one of the key principles that you need to understand in order to actually be Agile.